Continuello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Time, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinellos. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Punchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Punchinello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. <coughs> hey! Ah! <laughs> of them beaten to a pulp. Eyes swollen, they couldn't see in the end, swaying on their feet, slipping on the blood. <laughs> hey, yeah! Uh
it. was a receipt. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort out family troubles. Exhibits number one, two, and three. A briefcase of money, a sniper rifle, and an envelope with one word neatly printed on a folded piece of expensive paper. Mayor. It didn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point. Yeah. <laughs> 